Hello and happy soon to be new year for me, CRJ, coming to you once again in PNG form. One, if you saw my short yesterday, you'd know that I ran myself thin this past Christmas. So obviously I don't have the energy to bust out the filming equipment. And even if I did, my hard drive is fit to burst and I barely have any room. There's a reason for that, but I'll get to it later. So what does 2024 look like going forward? In January, I'm heading off to the Big Easy, New Orleans, baby. And yes, I'll vlog, I'll make a movie about it, everything's gonna be good. And yes, I'm also showing up at VidCon Anaheim this summer. Uh, not Baltimore though, um, that con got some growing to do. But I'm getting ahead of myself, let's focus on the immediate future. So like I said, I'm heading to New Orleans and that's gonna be in a couple weeks. So I might be able to upload a recipe video or two, but Eh, that's about it. But I'll definitely be uploading shorts, so definitely keep an eye on my shorts feed. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm currently working on a few side projects. I really do not know how to describe it, but if you're familiar with the YouTube animator SMG4, the same group behind the amazing Digital Circus, then expect content similar to him. So that's why, as I said earlier, my hard drive is fit to burst. And Okay, I think I need to bring up the elephant in the room. And yeah, if you can guess by the title of the video and the thumbnail, despite some pretty fun things to look forward to in the new year, I'm not that excited. Why? Well, I'm very scared to say this, but it's an election year. And the fact that I told you I was scared to bring it up should tell you a lot about how I feel about the upcoming year. And for people strongman me so they can boost their own moral virtue, I want to make a few things clear. I am not encouraging political apathy. Obviously, go out and vote. This is an important part of our democracy. But if there's one thing I can't stand about electing years, it's just how cancerous and toxic it becomes. It wouldn't be too bad, except in our bloated attention economy, you're rewarded for saying things that are outrageous, no matter how factually inaccurate they are. Quite honestly, J.J. McCullough sums up my feelings and observations perfectly. Now American politics seems to be adopting a permanently apocalyptic tone in which voters are constantly told that the state of their country is so awful and the politicians of the other side are so irredeemably wicked. And this sort of language does seem to work in getting people motivated and excited about politics, even if it is completely out of touch with what 21st century America is actually like. And here's something I've been hiding from you. During and after the 2020 election, my mental health took a massive blow. Didn't help that COVID was going on, but still. While I am feeling a little more centered and I'm able to handle politically charged news more healthily, I still worry about relapsing. Listen, I don't want to end the video on a dour note, so I'll say this. By all means, vote this election, but don't let the hatred and partisan anger consume you. Honestly, the most mentally healthy thing for you to do is let your fellow Americans be. If your fellow American wants to go on hormones and use they, them pronouns, let them be. And if your fellow American is into hunting and likes to kill wild game, let them be. And that concludes this update vlog. Be excellent to each other.